Welcome to the plus add-on tutorial. Today we're gonna demonstrate segmentation background. This is a part of row background widget. You can check out the row background widget's main video. This is the sub part of that uh, widget. So let's check it out. There are a few segmentation cool effects. Those are the based on when you scroll it on. Like for example, when you hover on this you will have this kind of effect this is another style one more style for the segmentation background another one all these are achieved by just selecting the styles first of all as you know it's a layer based uh, widget so you have the deep layer middle layer and the top layer in the deep layer in the options you have the last option as an image segmentation from which you can select the image solid color or gradient color as a background right for example if you will select the solid color from here and select the different styles you will have the look something like this you same can do with the gradient color let's keep the image for now and when you hover over it you will have that effect you have total six styles plus one custom style so for example here is a style one then you have the segment box shadow option you can select the shadow and the shadow color as per your needs sometimes in the back end you cannot see the changes in that case you need to update and check that in the front end then there is the style 2 you can see the style 2 here again for that you have the segmentation box shadow that is style 3 You can check out the different styles by changing the styles options here. The most important thing is the custom. In that, you have the repeater. So you can add different segments. Something like this. You can look at this segment. It have the position values top, right, left, top, and the left. And then you have the width option and the height option. Also, you have the option like what you want to do with that segment. If you want to scale it, you can select scale. If you want to float, then you have the option for the float. Right. You can see that. Also, there is the rot rotate option. Option for the flash. Also, all of those are options have their animation timing options. So you can make it faster or the slower as per the needs. You can see it's just too slow. Though you can select as per your needs everything. Right, you can add the multiple items or even you can duplicate this and set the position the width and height you can select the how many number of segmentation you want to show then you have the option to enable or disable mouse over parallax effect for example current one have the mouse over parallax effect if you don't want this you can turn it off from here then that is the option for the parallax value, maximum parallax value. Those are the intensities and kind of effects. So you can look into that, but we suggest to keep it default. If you don't have the detailed knowledge about parallax values, but still you can try it out and check the effects here. So based on that, you can choose your value. That is the option for the segment opacity. The opacity you can select uh, as per your needs. And there is the top shadow, left shadow. 
so you have all the set options also the animation time duration transition effect there are lots of options to choose from and then is, there is the transition delay minimum translate as z maximum translate z those are the value for the 3d kind of effects so you can choose values accordingly mm, and there is the box head option so as per this you can choose any predefined styles or go with the custom so you have all the options available here if you have any further questions write us on the comment box below or connect with us on our support forum hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on segmentation background subscribe to our channel for more tutorials do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video